Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tech video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can set up chat commands for your Roblox group. Make sure you follow the first part of this tutorial before you come here, as that will teach you on how you can set up the bot for your group. First, before we get started, I'm going to start off by going to the docs. I've left a link in the description to the docs which you can find down below and that will have everything you need to follow in case you don't like this format. So as you can see here we are on the docs and it says setup. Please follow the following instructions carefully to ensure nothing goes wrong. Danger. Make sure HTTP requests are enabled. Game settings security allow HTTP requests. Okay so we're going to do that right now, we're going to head over to studio. Make sure you already have a studio set up or you're already in a game of your choice. And if you've made a brand new game, you need to publish it. So you can do that by pressing Alt P on your keyboard or going to File, Publish, Draw Books As. And then let's wait for it to load in. Let's create a new game. Make sure you don't turn it onto Team Create unless you want it to be Team Create. I don't. And we're just going to call this Chat Commands Test. And then we're going to click on the Create button. Now that's created, we can close that. And now we can head over to our game settings. This is where we'll enable HTTP requests. So let's click on game settings. Let's head over to security. And then make sure allow HTTP requests are on. This will allow our script to communicate with the rank on ranking server. So let's click on that. And then let's click save. Okay, that's now loaded in. We can make a publish again. Or you can continue to go. I'm going to publish it with Alt P again. And now we can continue. So as you can see here, we have server script service, and if we head back to our docs, it will actually speak about the server script service. So we're going to head back to our docs, and as you can see, server script service. Create a script inside of server script service, copy and paste the following content in. So as you can see, there's a long script here. We honestly don't have to worry about most of it. We can just click on this copy button up here, copy to clipboard, let's head back to studio. Then we're going to create a brand new script inside of server script service. Go. So click plus, then click on script, then we're going to give this script a name, I'm going to call it chat commands, or ranking chat commands, uh, once I can spell it right, and then finally we can paste the rest of the content into this file. Okay, now we're going to scroll back up to the top, and now we need to start with the main configuration. So as you can see, you have a group ID and a rank here. This is how we're going to set our group ID and our minimum rank, which will allow only certain players to have access to this command. If you don't know how to use minimum rank, I'll leave a tutorial in the description down below on how you can understand minimum rank. If not, a little card will be appearing in the top right right now, and it will take you to the video explaining minimum ranks. Okay, so I just added my group ID and my minimum rank. And now we have to move on to the prefix. So the prefix is a, it's often a symbol that goes before the command. So if we had an exclamation mark like we do here, it'd be exclamation mark, the command, and then any parameters if you want to add them on. And then you can do the same on and on and on. If you have a slash, it'd be slash, then the name of the command and any arguments or parameters if you wanted to. I'm going to keep this on an exclamation mark for now. And here's a part where a lot of people mess up. So you see how it says local service equals elite? We're not on an elite account. Unless you're on an elite account, you should stay on elite. If not, you're on free. So the majority of you will be on free accounts. So we're just going to set this to free, just like I do in the video. Next, we have the username. Once again, here's a part where tons of people mess up. So as you can see, it says user dash blah 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 blah. But on a 3 account, you have just the number and not a string. So let's head over to Discord. And if you followed part 1 correctly, there'll be a proper part here where you can view all the commands. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to run slash, and then I'm going to run 3config. Now let's wait for it to go. And then where it says what would you like to do, just click on credentials. And you can copy these credentials. So you can see I have the username 75472, but I don't have to worry about remembering that, so I'm just going to copy it and then paste it into username. Once again, if you're on a three account, it's not in a string, it's actually just like this. And then if we need to get our password, we can head back to Discord again and we can copy and paste our password again. Make sure you don't share this password with people you don't trust, otherwise, it will allow them to use your rank bot to rank people in your group. 
Now we're going to paste in that password, and that's setup done. So we only need to do a few more things to get this up and running. Now if we head back to our docs, you'll see there are actually a couple more steps. So let's scroll down, and as you can see, it says replicated storage. Create a remote event under replicated storage. Call this remote event notify. So our remote event allows the client and server to communicate. So let's click on replicated storage, then click on the plus button, and now we're going to select remote event, and now we're going to call this remote event notify. Okay, now there's one thing we need to do. We have a server, we have a remote event, but we have no client script. We're finally going to have to head back to our docs for the last time, and as you can see, there's a local script, and this local script will just communicate with the client and send notifications in, so we have some feedback on what's happening. So let's head back to studio, and where it says started UI, just click plus, local script, and I would call this notification handler, you can call it whatever you want really, and all we need to do is paste that part of the code in. Great, and now it will send notifications when we have to. Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish it and I'm going to test it. Keep in mind for testing, you need to have a player that's inside of your group and in the game when you do the promote commands. I'll leave a display of all the commands that are accessible and how to use them right in the screen right now. And you can use those commands for ranking. I'm now going to head inside of the Roblox game where I'll quickly try this out. Okay, so I just did a check inside of Roblox and everything is now working. If you have any issues with today's script, if it's scripting related and you're getting a scripting error, head over to my forums, and even if you're not having any scripting issues, I recommend you check out my forums. There are a ton of things there for Roblox communications, development, and all things tech alike. And if you have any major issues, you can head over to Rangon support, that's support.rangon.works. That's all from me, thank you for tuning in today, and bye bye